Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike and Kim here from a great day or night. It's a hot one today, Kim. Yes, it is. It's a hot one, but we're going thrifting. It should be fun because we haven't gone thrifting in a while. No, actually, we haven't. And uh, we're going to hit up probably three thrift stores, just in and out, grab a bite to eat, do some errands. So let's see what we do today. So, Kim, you got selected for jury duty. Is it the, is it the OJ case? It says it's for a grand jury. This going to be big times. I'm kind of excited. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what it is. We were just talking like, and I know this is crazy, but if, <laughs> if what if it was like some big drug bust with like the cartel or something nuts, and then they came over and knocked on the door and threatened our lives, right? Offered, offered me money to throw the jury. Yeah. Don't answer that. What, what would you guys do? Would you take the money? Or risk getting who knows what. But that was pretty crazy, though, isn't it? It's like grand jury. I know, because you had jury duty yeah. a few months ago. And it was just a regular old jury duty case. Yeah, and this one's saying it's every Monday you got to meet. For four months. So this is big time skis. It is big time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I am not going to lie. I am so psyched to find out what the heck this is. Do you think I can tail along with two and vlog it? Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. But I'll be I'll be sure to tell tell you what it's all about. Give, give us an update, but you can't you can't say anything until the case is over if you're selected. Well, yeah, obviously I can't say anything if I'm selected, but if I'm not selected, I'll tell you what it's about. All right, all right, we're in downtown Casa Grande, right. going to. Oh wait, go this way. Yep, right? go that way. No. We're going to our favorite hole in the wall thrift store against abuse in Casa Grande. Well, now you just told them. Well, they know it. I posted it. <laughs> I've seen other resellers in here. Oh. But, uh, yeah, look at this. It's, I'd love to own one of these little buildings down here, but this, there's just nothing here in terms of, like, traffic. Like, right here, look at this. It could be Kimmy's Boutique. It could be. Can't see around those big trees. Yeah, look at Kimmy's Boutique. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is, Boutique. Vacant. Oh, my gosh, it's closed. What happened? I was so excited. No thrifting here? The gate's closed. What happened? Is there any signage? Oh, there is a sign. Oh, what does the sign say? Regular store hours, 7.30 to 3 p.m. It's going to be closed June 7th, 17th. That's a bummer. I was looking to thrift here. All right, off to the next one. You know what? Now I just think about it. There's another one right over here. But they're probably closed, too. I got money to spend, man. Why right, this place is opening? Right, this is called the Bow Wow Meow. Meow. Let's see. Bow Wow closed. Closed. Unbelievable. Wow. No thrifting on Mondays? Jeez. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let this one be open. They're not. Are you kidding me? No, this looks dead as a doornail. What is going on here? Even the, the, the arc's closed? Come on, man. Wow. I guess we're gonna have to call this video. We just weren't allowed to go thrifting today. Is that like some kind of holiday? Tuesday through Saturday, so they're not ever open on Monday. Oh, jeez. They sure do get a lot of refrigerators, though. All right, well, I guess it's uh, Goodwill and Salvo. You dropped your phone. Yes, I did. Did you get crackage? No. We're here at the Goodwill. Let's see if we can find some gems. All right, this is the problem here in this thrift store. I found me a nice Ariat boot. Just the one. Damn it. Somebody hit it on me. Come on now, Ariat. Where are you? Are you under here? Where are you? Speak to me. <laughs> Where is it? It's gotta be in here somewhere. It's, it's hidden. Uh, well, I'm going to be searching here, looking for it. Aren't these cute? Kim, we've got an emergency here. Okay. Big emergency. See, we've got one area boot here, but the other one's missing. Uh -oh. I need your expertise and help me look for it. ASAP. Stat. They, the they don't. Somebody hit it. Well, these are pretty cool. Converse Harley Quinns, 
$24.99 is not cool. Oof, an idiot. The boot, they have it behind the counter. <laughs> Isn't that what I told <laughs> you? You did tell me that. And I was looking for it and I'm like, this is crazy. So, I'm like a noob. <laughs> Let's hide them for somebody else. Let's do that. How about right here? Behind the box. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no big home runs on the Goodwill. It's it's dry. It's bare as a bone in there, isn't it? Yeah, it really was. It's actually. crazy. I mean, you're lucky to go to this Goodwill here and cast the ground and pull out one item. Yeah. You know, rough. you pull out a couple items, nothing crazy, but uh, now it's time for lunch. Lunch. Tacos. Let's do it. Going in? Yeah, no, that was it. Oh, okay, it's good. All right, cool. In the, in the door. All right. Makes it difficult, huh? Sure. We've got the other door for him, Kim. Yeah. Thank you. Kim, you really can't beat this for nine bucks. No, not at all. Right? It's like yummy. Like Two tacos, that. some rolled up tacos, and drinks for nine bucks. You gotta love. Filibertos. All right, I'm stuffed. Me too. <laughs> you wouldn't think just two tacos could like do that, but they're big though. I yeah, mean, it's a pretty big meal. It's filling. And, and here's a crazy thing: when it's what a hundred and eight, hundred and eight right now, and we might not even eat dinner. One meal will fill us up when it gets this hot. Yeah, I mean, I could just make some pasta salad and be fine with that. Yeah. So anyway, before we fall asleep and take a nap here, we gotta get the Salvation <laughs> Army. <laughs> so right, let's go let's find out it. what we get. Look at the size of that. Well, you won't lose that one, will you? <laughs> All right, Kim, let's play what's in the Samsonite box. Do you think there's anything in there? No. No? No way. There's a gold earring in here. Well, there is an earring in there, you're right. I'll be darned. I'll tell you what, it feels like it's gold. Probably not, though. See him working on it? I'm looking for its mate. See in the other corner? No. Oh, you can swing that lady creature. Yeah, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Old lady cream. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the smell is, but it's... It's a Profile 2 Samson. The case is nice. No, this is not real. For three bucks? It. All right, Kim, it's been a while since we got a card at the thrift store, huh? Yeah, I guess we're eating ramen noodles for this, huh? <laughs> Loaded it up, boys and girls. Yeah, baby. Okay, back home here. Let me show you what we picked up for $63. Got a pair of those, uh, or men in the geldo, Zegna, Yegna, whatever it is. That's about 30 or 40 bucks. On uh, eBay, this is a nice Mitchell and Ness uh, Alzado jersey, stitched. Uh, it looks like it's maybe been washed once. Uh, let's size this guy. Uh, well, it's 1984 throwback, size 48. We picked up a Randy Moss Reebok Redskins jersey, size small. That's going to be a tough sell, but I think we can get 20 to $40 for that. Um, here's a nice find here. Nice leather jacket. We got the Pookies. Pookies, you can just look at the finds. Uh, we got a nice Tommy Bahama men's leather jacket that's immaculate. Um, there's a couple small marks on it, but when I was in the store, I just wiped them off. So um, not too bad. Picked up a pair of some shoes here. Here's the first pair. Nothing crazy, just uh, women's REI boots. Uh, pretty good shape, as you can see. These are... Excellent find right here. I was such an idiot, I didn't even think about it. Even when Kim said, hey, listen, just go to the front of the counter. That's where the other shoe is, the other boot. I didn't listen to her. Because <laughs> usually when they're sitting over there like that, um, the other pair is there. But uh, this is a nice pair of men's Ariat boots here. Um, these are not cheap, no doubt about it. Um, I just bought a pair, not a pair of cowboy boots, but like well, work boots, steel toes. Those were like 160 uh, I think these are like 180 to 220 Retail, new. Uh, and then um, I got this Prada bag. Uh, looked at everything at this. The quality of this 
is superior. Uh, the leather's nice and soft. The stitching spot on. Um, it's even got the the lock with the key, and um, it's just in very excellent condition. When we were at the Salvation Army, they wheeled out a, a bucket there, and um, I'm just like, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, here's what I paid for it. Uh, $8.99, so not bad at all. Um, these can be tricky, though, because sometimes people can get your listings flagged on eBay. So I might just try to sell it locally first, but you could just look at the look at the stitching on this. You know, it's it's pretty pretty superior, and you can go on uh, Google and and find ways to identify the Prada stuff. So this looks appears to be to me in my eyes genuine. Time will tell. And uh, oh, here, this I did pick up the Samsonite uh, box there. Hey, Kita, stop! I'm doing a video. Two ninety nine for this like makeup container type thing where you little travel stuff it's got the nice brown do that that should be 40 to 50 bucks and then finally we got these pair of ray-ban sunglasses just sitting there kim grabbed them she's like look at those i said yeah they're prescriptions and um you know a lot of times you could tell just from looking at some of the detail on it they're made in italy if they're real or not these are definitely real so yeah, not too bad. Well, she do pretty well with this. Uh, Kim picked up some stuff as well, some scrapbooking stuff that's in the bags there and a couple of books. Pookie, how did we do? Slam dunk or no dunk? Doesn't matter. So as always, guys, I'll show you when these things sell. We'll see the prices we get for them over time. Um, appreciate you watching today's video, today's journey. It started off slow. Didn't think there was going to be many sales out and about, but we turned it around. Just two thrift stores in. And a nice little decent haul here that we should make hundreds on, no doubt about it. I'd like to know in the comments down below what you guys have found lately at the thrift stores or the flea market storage units, etc., etc. Leave a comment down below. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, I'm here. Peace. Vlog over.